2017 is going to be a big year for who? Who are we going to be talking about this time next year in terms of, give us one name. One name? Mm. As a player? Mm. Uh, that's a really good question, that. Um, Paul. I'm not sure. Who were we talking about in 2013? I suppose George North was the one, yeah. wasn't it? You know, George, that George, yeah, try. George North and, and Falau were the, the two in, yeah. in uh, 2013. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm, you know, if I if I say someone's that, I mean they're already selected on tour. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of players I've been really. Give I mean, us a couple then. Oh, well, I, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to keep it all fair. Yeah, um, a couple. Look, I, I've, you know, I've been really impressed with Owen Farrell. I thought, I thought he's really matured since mm. since 2013. He's, he's he seems to be confident playing in a winning team come you know just looks like he's really really matured as a player and doesn't make many mistakes you know and then mm -hmm. I think yeah and that was and that, that happens with you know as you get a bit more experience and I think there was we saw that in the past but there was always every now and again there was one one or two errors and he would he was disappointed at that but you know, at the moment the way he's playing is outstanding I, I've been really impressed with um, Jonathan Joseph as well so um, you know they, those are two English players and uh, from uh, from um, the other countries, I mean, Hogg's been—he's yeah. probably been the standout player for for Glasgow and for for Scotland. You know, he's been absolutely outstanding um, from a Welsh perspective. Um, you know, some 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 real challenges for for uh, you know those players in, in terms of that. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just thinking, Alan Wynne Jones, I think. I think he's he's really come on in terms of that maturity and stuff from again from where he was in, in mm -hmm. 2013, and from an Irish point of view, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I've been really impressed with okay. Fur, Furlong. You know, yeah, I think Furlong, yeah, yeah Tiger Furlong. You know, he's uh, he's done a great job, and you know, hopefully his form continues as well. So I don't know if those are the players that are yeah. selected, but you know, those are the those are the players that have you know made an impression. I mean, Henshaw's one that's that was really good. he was outstanding and um, in Chicago before he picked up that uh, you know, the knock against the All Blacks and, and went off early um, but you know th those are the challenges for those players and I said I was asked about a couple of names a, a few days ago and the, the hard thing about that you, you give it you give the names you know someone like Connor Murray's done that is that a that pass for Zebo yeah yeah you look at some of the ways he's playing but you know as soon as I mention some names I know if I was playing against those players I mean it gives me a, a huge amount of motivation to go and play better than them and want to do better than them. So, like it maybe, or maybe I'll put the curse on them. So, we'll, <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens over the next few months. And look, that's where they are at the moment. Um, a lot of things can change. A lot of form can go out the window. I mean, teams that, that play in, and often if a, if a team gets, in particularly in the Six Nations, about momentum, you know, win a couple of games and start, you know, that can bring in a lot of other players in, into the mix. And, and I think that happened in 2013. I mean, it come down to that last game that um, England-Wales game, it, it probably turned into a trial for, for half a dozen players, you know, in terms of players that ended up, you know, going on the tour and players who missed out. And and um, we may see the same thing happen this time. I and mean, you know, if you look at the, the last weekend, I mean, Ireland play England, I and mean, obviously, you know, that's in Dublin. And and if you look at the past, I mean, England have gone over there to win championships, win Grand Slams, and come away with their tails between their league. And, and it happened in 2013. So. Um, I don't want to put the mockers on them, but, <laughs> but it yeah, yeah, uh, but because um, I'm sitting back and going, you know, the, the, the best thing if I, you know, I'm, I'm that's what you're looking for, isn't it? You yeah, know, those players in, in big, big moments, stepping up and yeah. and a big three, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was in, yeah, yeah. and big occasion because that's what's going to handle. That's what's, handle that's what's going to happen in New Zealand. You know, we're going to need to really, really front up when it really matters, and uh, um, you know, so for a lot of those players. Um, you know, there's a huge amount at stake over the next four or five months, you know, and particularly the Six Nations. That's that's our competition. That's when things are at place.